Uh, so my name is Kevin Larson and I'm one of the agriculture instructors here at Sauk Valley Community College. Um, not only do I work with the college and teach the agriculture classes and, and basically the farm operator and farm manager, but I have my own farm back home in Morrison as well. My wife and I, were, we raise beef cattle and hay. Uh, so we sell hay to people who feed horses, feed livestock, things like that, as well as feed our own animals. Uh, so we have that background. I actually grew up on a dairy farm in Wisconsin. And so did my wife grew up on a dairy farm here in Northwest Illinois. Um, and so we have that background to not only share our personal experiences, what we've gone through, what we, what we have done in our past, but what we're currently doing as well. Um, I joke with people that, that my farm is the unofficial college farm because my students, my classes are out there a lot working with my animals, taking soil samples, identifying pests for hay ground that's different than corn and soybeans. Uh, so we, we utilize our past experiences in our farm a lot for the Ag program. So my college background, I actually started at a college very similar to Sauk Valley Community College, a community college back home called uw Baraboo, Sauk County, again being from Wisconsin and their community college system. I spent two years there. Actually, uh, my first year was in Ag Business, Sales and Marketing major, and I wanted to be in the sales realm. Uh, but then I decided I wanted to teach. Um, and so I had a talk with my high school ag teacher and FFA advisor, and we had a good conversation and convinced me to do, to do what I do now. And I've, I've never regretted it ever since. So I went there for two years, and then I transferred to University of Wisconsin Platteville for three years for ag education. And so I started uh, teaching in Illinois because my wife and I moved to Illinois. Um, and we, uh, I taught high school ag classes for six and a half years. And then I worked for the State Board of Education for three and a half years, helping advise the ag programs in Northwest Illinois. Sure, uh, one of the best things about being on the farm is seeing your hard work pay off, whether it's planting the seed in the spring, watching it grow all summer long, and then getting to now where we're harvesting and seeing that hard work pay off and those decisions pay off. Um, and then having those results help you make decisions for the future as well is one really enjoyable thing. Or if it's on the livestock side of things, one thing I really enjoy as far as my own farm and then other livestock kids as well is watching that calf being born for the first time, take its first breath to stand for the first time, to, to start nursing with mom for the first time and watch that calf grow into what they become. It's really a, a great thing, it's really an enjoyable thing. Uh, challenging things as far as uh, say crop production, there's so much out of your control. Uh, you can't control the weather. You know, if you've got a major windstorm and you knock down acres of corn, that completely changes things for you. If you're looking to get ready for harvest, all of a sudden it rains a bunch, that completely throws things off as well. Um, in the livestock industry, you know, say you got some health issues come up, you have a calf that's born dead, uh, you have uh, markets going one way or the other, you know, markets crashing or growing and things like that, and you missed an opportunity. Uh, those are some really challenging things that are so much out of your control. But if you learn so much about how to manage what you can control, controlling pests, nutrient management, controlling diseases, things like that, controlling your markets as far as uh, commodity contracts and things like that, um, if you can utilize those decisions to help alleviate and kind of avoid the stress and things you can't control, that definitely helps out. There's plenty of pathways within the agriculture program at Sauk Valley Community College. Um, if you want to go back to the family farm and do crop production, that's great. We'll help you get prepared. We'll go through the plant science, the soil science, the mechanics of things, the business management, the things you need to know to be successful on the farm, on the farm setting. If you're looking more in the livestock setting, we've got the animal science classes and as well as the business management, things like that to get more in the livestock production. If you're looking more on the business management side, you want to get into sales, we've got our classes with that uh, and the experience and the partnerships we have with our sales professionals within our community that come on, that come on and coach our students in those sales, sales realms. But if you're looking to transfer to university, we can help you prepare for that as well to, for a bigger degree. Um, and I have plenty of students that start with us and then transfer to say Blackhawk Community College for their veterinary technician program. Uh, we, we have about three or four every year at least, or every semester at least, to that do that. And I also have a couple students every year that are in the veterinary science field that that's what they want to do. They start here at Sauk, transfer to say Platteville or University of Illinois, Iowa State, wherever, and to finish off their pre-vet degree 
then apply to vet school and become veterinarians. Um, so we have a lot of different pathways, whether you want to go into production ag, whether you want to go into the research side of things, whether you want to get into the business management, animal science, veterinary science, things like that. We've got so many different pathways, so many options for you. Not to, not to mention the technology side of everything, whether it's precision farming and precision planting and all the technology within the combines and the tractors and the spraying equipment, we have all that covered. But then we also have uh, we also have um, opportunities to learn about technology in the animal science realm as well, whether it's a dairy farm milking with robots, uh, whether it is say a hog operation and, and the, the data they can get from their pigs, uh, things like that to help manage their operations and to manage those animals and help them be as healthy and successful as they can be. You don't have to come from a farm background to be very successful in agriculture and Sauk Valley Community College and agriculture program here this helps you prepare for whichever direction you want to go, no matter where you're from. I've had farm kids sitting right next to someone from an, from an urban setting that has no idea what, what the anatomy of a corn plant is. I've had them all, and they're all very successful and they all contribute very well to the ag program.